Hey, guys and girls, Rega here for another video. Today I would like to talk about divination. Now, I've got this player in my campaign that I'm running. Yes, I'm a DM now, in case I haven't mentioned it before, and I will do a video all along my campaign at some point. It, it will happen, I promise. Alright. But I've got this player, and he, well, he is a cleric of the Raven Queen, and he wants to go in the direction of his character as being a kind of seer, a kind of fortune teller, a kind of seer of the the fates of others in the distant future and recent present. And that kind of fits in with the Raven Queen's theme. I mean, maybe Raven Queen acts differently in your campaigns, but she is known to be a, an aspect of fate in as far as knows the canon of D&D. So I want to give that to him, I want to give him that chance to be a seer. And he, he went ahead and he got these like really cool crystals and and little like like symbol things on his own accord to bring the game to sort of, he wanted these little props to use and I think that was really cool. So I want to give it to him, I want to give him you know a chance to be, be that. However, anyone I've ever talked to about divination has always kind of forewarned me that it is kind of a game breaker. You gotta be very careful how you use it, or it can ruin everything because obviously you're given, possibly given a character access to knowledge they're not meant to have at that point in the campaign or need at all. So I did a little research, a little digging, and found that as far as I could tell, I mean I didn't spend days looking, <laughs> you know, in my spare time. Um, there wasn't really that much about divination and RPG and how, how best to use it. So, I thought, well, I know a few guys and girls who know a few better about RPGs. Why don't I ask them? So here's the video. Now I've come up with a couple of ways that could be done, but I don't know if they're any good. <laughs> so I'm kind of curious to see how you guys would do it. A few of the ideas I've had is to do it in a sense where when someone wants to see the future, that's fine. You give them a kind of window-like image of the future. They, they roll for the spell and how successful it is, so the question, with the parameters and the description of what they want to know, make it as specific as possible, that'd be great. And yeah, you, go, you, give, you paint them a, a scene and, you know, that's what may or may not happen. However, with anything, it's not just as simple as that. If they try to do anything but but nothing, that image starts to bend and kind of distort and becomes kind of out of focus. Like they start to forget parts of what they saw and and stuff. It's like it's like the image is presented to them as if they did nothing but observe the events. If they try to make any kind of impact on the outcome, then things become a lot less certain. And I kind of sense that as a um, be careful what you mess with. Another way I thought of doing it is inspired by a book I read, whereas in this the character, the, 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 the protagonist from the story, encounters this creature. And what this creature does is it tells you truths about your life and about your future, but does so in a way to, to cause you the most pain, or cause the most pain to others it possibly can. In a sense that it can see all the variations of what you will do from this point, and it sets you on a path to do the most harm. A little twisted thing, right? So, you know, that's sort of a, the idea is, you know, don't ask someone to tell you a future because they might give you a future you don't want. But how I'd use that is in in D and D, is that I get them to make a roll. And depending on how they roll, and a bit of DM and jiggery pokery, would depend on who responds. Not what, who. It would either be some kind of evil line entity, or a good line entity. And it may give them the answers they want, or it may give them information that only benefits another agenda. A kind of, you know, be careful who, who you ask. Because you may not know who's actually on the other end of the call, kind of thing, which I think is cool. But yeah, I don't know the pitfalls of using that approach because I've never tried it yet. And I thought, come to the brigade, 
they'll know what to do. And I can tell now, ooh, ooh, the responses were amazing. Until next time, people.